hate rappers. Your bars is weak, you should drop the pen. I fuck these hoes once, then I fuck them again. For my pop in the pen, doing 10. When? When I was growing up needing a father. Instead, I got a sack of weed and a revolver from this hustler who said, I see you living with your single mother and your little brother. And ain't no other way to get paid today in this motherfucker. Look, my ex girl, ancient history. I'm the beast, looking at ancient history. I'm living, you kidding me? Canary diamonds flying to the Canary Islands. Seriously. You need more bars? Dig. Dig this. Your girl call you a boyfriend. She call me a blessing. Seldom does a legend speak the mere peasant. So listen closely. If you could walk in my shoes, you would think you just stepped in heaven. You must be deaf if you ain't heard my name. I expand my mind so much I got stretch marks on my brain. You give a black eye to the game every time you give a black eye to a dame. You do what a bitch would do. I group around killers who in his beef they get deep as they sell what with Hitler do. For the things you yeah. Are you? I am Marquette Burton. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah. I am many things. Okay. I would tell you my real life, but you would swear I'm lying. I wish you could see this fine Hawaiian I'm trying to fly in. She said she got vacation time. I said, go ahead, take it off. She's sitting on the plane. She said, I love you before she take off. Daddy's home. Ah! Big home. <laughs> Uh, if you can't find your girl, if you can't find your girl, that's cause she's on my nuts in this, in this crazy world, in this crazy world, and I'm you wish you had one of these gold watch black face. I think it's Sudanese. I'm in Hanoi with two of these bad Vietnamese chicks. Like, who is he? Velvet T, gold watch on me. I'm keeping it P. Debo in a tux. <laughs> I'd be a fool if I love him. Love him. You'll be a fool if you trust him. Trust him. Here with my niggas, we keeping it gangster. gangster. Yeah, I'm a slayer. I'm just keeping it player. Player, player, player. I'm fucking her now, we're man. Eating it later. Ugh. That's maybe why he is a hater. Hater, hater. All black like I'm being a raider. Raider, 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 raider. You talk to police, we call you a traitor. Traitor, 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 traitor. I'm running the city, they call me for favors. I'm running the city, they call me the mayor. It's getting political with me. My street presidential, she really living. Quit banging my line, ho. Quit banging my oh, line, ho. Hey. Yeah. You see me, me act, act like, like you don't, don't even know me, ho. When you see me act like you don't even know me, ho. Come on, baby, get a clue. How you do what you do? How do you fall in love with me? But I'm not in love with you. Peace to the saints. Peace, Peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. Peace to all the saints. Peace to all the saints. Peace to 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 the saints. Peace and then the center. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one and only, the big homie, Fax Kellerman, Stephen A. Pimp, Freshly Snipes, the idol of James Bond, Marquette Devon, Burton, the Saint, and the Sinner. Oh, ladies and saints, we getting into it today. You got Devon Gotti, huh? We going in. Um, this is something that I'm excited to do because I absolutely love stand-up comedy. I recognize the gentleman as a stand-up comedian, 
assuming I'm recognizing the right person. And I see that he has a show. I've not had a chance to watch the show before. So this is a, my first time watching the show B obviously I'm doing a live fresh reaction. So it should be really fun. And I see that he's been very successful. He's getting great views, very proud of him. Always happy to see somebody winning. And generally when people are able to do comedy, though you might not realize it, these are highly intelligent individuals. It's been said that public speaking is one of the great fears. I'm great at public speaking, but I'll tell you what's harder than public speaking. Stand-up comedy. Yes, it's harder because not only are you public speaking, there's also the expectation that you be funny, right? All at the same time. We're going to get into it. I'm very excited to check this out, and I appreciate all of you who have tuned in. And also, shout out to the real ones who have sent it in and supported the work before we even got going because let's be real here. I always deliver every single time. Yes, indeed. So may I acknowledge those who have supported the work? Because per our tradition, show love to those who show love to you. By the way, just side note, I was listening to the intro. I can't lie to you. I'm feeling myself right now. The, the bars are crazy. And I was listening to the intro and I was like, Canary Diamonds flying to the Canary Islands. I was like, y'all didn't know what the Canary Islands were before I mentioned it. Let's be real here. I'm putting you on. Shout out to EJ. And speaking of EJ, remind me to grab his product at some point because I got it. I finally got it. It was at my other property brought it back over here. The packaging is insane. It looks so good. I didn't even want to open it. So I want to show you one of the products that someone like you has worked on. He took a consultation, booked it at thesassin.com, created a product of his own. Now he's making money. I want to show you the product because I think he did a great job. Shout out to EJ. He writes, peace to the saints. Truly appreciate it. May I also acknowledge via Cash App. Shout out to Nathaniel. He writes, for the wisdom to come per usual. Shout out to Danny. He writes, respect, respect, book. Bomba clot. Wagwan. Livingston. Anyways, um, my groceries may be delivered at some point uh, during this, so might take a break at that point. So just be aware. May I also acknowledge Jay Wishbone supporting the work. Appreciate you. He writes, where can I get those tracks that are in the intro? You can log into any place that you stream music, Apple, Spotify, you name it. And type in the saint in the center, and then you will find bars. You dig? I'm your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. I might also soon be your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Shout out to Miss Quick. Uh oh, baby, you ain't fast, are you? She writes, Hello, Mr. Burton. In one of your videos, you broke down the dynamics between man and woman in the Bible. Wow, wow. Unlike anyone else, I appreciate that. You know, a lot of times you find the clergy, though they are theologians, they seem to not understand the word or respect the word. We're in dark times, right? The Bible tells you that I'm not getting into it. Anyways, she writes, it has truly opened my eyes to the value a man brings peace to the saints. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Don't you love to see a woman like that who's open to knowledge? That's a that's remarkable. We should all be thankful. Shout out to Inzique writes, peace to the saints. I haven't been able to catch a live. Happy to catch one. Would love to join the network. How do I do so? Well, we would love to invite you to this thing of ours. You can join at thesassin.com. That's T-H-E-S-A-S-N or patreon.com slash the saint and the center. And for all of you who have not already become members, highly recommend it. Many benefits come with it. You did. Carrying on. So I'm going to share my screen. And if you'd like to send in any particular timestamps, I encourage you to or any videos of uh, Corey Holcomb. Um, I'd be happy to review it, and per usual, uh, as you know, I'm quite a thorough person, so I will start from the beginning in as much as this is my first time seeing your show, so I'm very curious as to you know, how it runs, what the intro is like, and all those good things. I also do have some timestamps, which were provided by a member, and these kind of pieces that you see, unusual pieces, either I thought of something genius, which is not uncommon, or a member requested it. So here we go. So it's called the 5150 show. Now, I do believe 5150, is that like a police term? Let's see, 5150, meaning. 5150 is the number of the California Welfare and Institutions Code that allows an adult to be voluntarily detained for 72 hours for a psychiatric hospital. Okay, yeah, I thought that was familiar. Indeed, I did think that was familiar. Okay, fair enough, carrying on. So I'm assuming perhaps he's a Cali boy. I didn't know that. Maybe he's from Killa Cali. You guys would have to let me know. So it's called the 5150 Show. 
do confirm that uh, the audio is good, both my audio as well as the video. Currently, I don't hear a damn thing. Assuming this video does have audio. That's curious. Let me know if you guys can hear anything. I don't hear a damn thing. So he's from Chicago. Uh, I used to live in Chicago. It's a fine place. Oh, was that, could you hear the audio from the video? And again, remember, I teach proper grammar. I teach you to write in complete sentences. It'll be good for your future. Okay, there we go. Now, give me a second. Let me route this audio to my headphones. Looks like the ball has a serious intro. I'm looking forward to it. There we go. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Number one thing, I don't. Number one thing, I don't want no member of this church complaining about is the way you look. <laughs> the way you look is the way you look. We can't do nothing about it. I have spent quality time with some of the sisters of the church. Lord Jesus. I, Lord Jesus. I'm hoping she's on the show. I, I don't if she's on the show. God damn it. I need to go on the show. Those those biddies were bouncing. Look like water. I can't lie to you. I love some large, big boobies. Makes me feel like a kid again. Baby need a baba? Baby need a baba. I look past the way they look. Because God, God must my be nigga done. Name, hold on. What was my nigga name? I look past the way they look. My nigga name is Hakeem Jawanza. This brother's, this is a soul brother right here. Hakeem Jawanza. I like that. You know he's not an actual African. I don't think Africans have that name. I think it's like a, a, a black dude whose parents were like influenced by Dr. Umar. It's like, I'm going to name my baby Hakeem Jawanza. Like, but his older brother's name Tyrone. Hey. Anyways, carrying on. Because God's work must be done. Face his name. Don't look up. We like a selection. She had them biddies. Uh, let the church rise. So caramel Look at them things. Couldn't be my wife. Couldn't be my lady. But I'll, I'll enjoy watching hers. And the Saint Anne. Because my God right? has a sense of humor. And he... always staring on peace. Damn, motherfuckers told me I got a long intro. Hell nah. The entertainment we six minutes in, video ain't started. I don't want to hear nobody saying nothing about my intro from now on. Movies. We know what you do and we know who you let in. Oh, no, he didn't. Not the good pastor T.D. Jakes. And only your backdoor friends. <laughs> this is a little payback from all the heterosexual men of the world. Uh, it's just a couple left. Niggas fucking niggas, but they act like they like old. You see, I wrote this song so they oh, can be up. exposed. Oh, niggas he cutting niggas, up. Like oh, he cutting up. Listen, don't let us two to get together. That, that'd be all bad. <laughs> Shit. This man's a menace. And I think I like it. The boo boo it flood out the wreck, the mid will flow out. Uh, no, I would probably not do a QA for the conference footage if someone has, you know, far reaching questions or they're building a product, they can book a consultation or intelligently, I do uh, money sessions. So, sessions on how do you build your uh, financial foundation sessions on entrepreneurship those are great times to call in with your questions and um yeah there you go thank you for asking Ouch. i know you ashamed of your life you're wearing a beard called your wife and smoke your homeboys but when you talk, don't think that I can tell. Brother got some vocals too, man. This man is multi-talented. He's a stand-up comedian. He's a singer. He's all that. It's a beautiful thing. 
The noise in your room is the sound when a man yells. Oh, shout out to I identify as a white. Every time you talk, your fingers are in the air. Fingers, but they act like they. You can actually get the I Identify as a White Woman sweatshirt at the merch website, which may be linked in the description. It also might not be. So one of the uh, mods, if you'd be kind enough to drop that link as well. And also this hoodie runs small. I am going to update the title because this one runs small. This one, I wear a true medium. This is a medium. And I feel like it's a, not the way I would expect it to fit. So it does run a, a bit small, this particular hoodie. Okay. Let me go ahead and uh, hit the first time stamp then, since we have a, quite a significant intro. I'm going to go ahead to 2747. If you have any time stamps or videos, I'd be happy to check them out. So here we are at 2747. Yo, man, did y'all hear that story about that lady who stabbed her boyfriend? Was it her husband? She stabbed a man in the heart. Shout out to BT he supporting the work. Got on the four five, yeah. You heard about that? I heard about it. I heard. Threw the little baby out. Damn. Right. The baby lived. Damn. One Not of them. The older one one of the babies. The lived. little baby died. That's oh. yeah. That that's truly gutter. That's truly gutter. You know, one thing I'd like to point out to all of you: a male with mental health issues. You see them every now and then. They're called bums. They're homeless. They can't get on in the society because obviously with significant mental health issues, you can't hold down a job. And, you know, at some point people won't stop messing with you. Whereas if you're abroad with mental health issues, then we just be like, oh man, she crazy as hell. But that, that sloppy toppy crazy, to, you know, like she crazy as hell, but -wee! you know, like somebody's still trying to smash. So they're going to support her lifestyle. They're going to keep her afloat keep her alive so that she doesn't actually have to be homeless. That's why you rarely see lady bums. In addition to that, all of the shelters are for women and children as though you know men don't mind being homeless. So this is not entirely surprising that a woman can go on this long being not diagnosed or not slapped into a room with a bunch of pads in it. Hey. And then she ran into a tree and killed herself, I heard. Oh, well, it's funny how the universe works everything out, I guess. <laughs> I say this about stuff like that, man. That who is clapping? He didn't give the slow clap. Insane females have a real advantage over most. What you Because nobody about? expect them to do what they go do. Yeah, they get grace. Nah, I can't sign off on that relative. I completely expect them to do crazy things. I just expect people to react differently. You know, when a man does something crazy, we're thinking, oh, punish him, contain him. He's an aggressor. A woman does something crazy, we just be like, we need grace, we need understanding, we need forgiveness, don't blame the victim. Victim, Marquette, she did something crazy. Yeah, I know, they're still the victim. It's amazing, I know. They yeah. get what? They get grace. Women get because grace when they female. don't deserve it. Because We got to earn grace. What you're saying What you saying is deep. That's why it blew my mind when you said it. They get grace. A woman could ruin any man's life for a period of time. My nigga said, look, I'm going to just wear the red hat with the motherfucking, uh, what color is that? I, I know, like, I ain't the only one here, like, looking at that sweatshirt. Like, what color is that, actually? I don't even, I don't even know. That's amazing. Time. Because no matter what she said. Shout out to baby right here in the middle. I like that pretty hair she got. She could be any race. You heard me? Like, she could be, like, a, a, a black, a mixed black person. She could be a Puerto Rican. She could be a Latina. She could be Filipino. This is, she's everything. Shout out to her. No matter how use it to my advantage. Culture, how deep in it is, people gonna give her the benefit always yeah. before people want to accept. Uh, OJ, nobody ever understood. I mean, they, I mean, like the bitch was at his house with another dude. Worse than that. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, I'm not a, necessarily a fan of OJ the Juice. However, I must concede that when you marry a, anyone. The reality is it says till death do us part. Oh shit. I mean, she she wanted to part look like that she forgot about the death part. That was in the vow. So she technically signed up for that. That's number one. Number two, I often remind you all, we ought not mix paternal blood. You heard me as a female. Once you have kids with one man, you're done. That's the only man you need to be having kids with. Okay. 
And then the third part is, nah, you ain't going to be bringing people back to my spiz out like that. Like, that's out. That's super out. So, yeah, I, I don't, I can't say I feel like sorry for her. But here's the thing. I don't feel sorry for OJ either because he knew she was a slur. Like she was working at a, a restaurant when he met her. That's why I always tell you guys, man, I'll deal with these broke hoes. Broke hoes are the worst. <laughs> you dig? And they got the nerve to have an attitude. It's like hoes be comfortable being broke, but they expect you to always have money. Amazing. So yeah, these broke hoes are always a problem, but she was a super slur when he met her. So, you know, you can't really expect anything other than that, right? You, you marry and procreate with a groupie. These are the results you get. You want to know? I found out some shit about the OJ case two days ago that I bet y'all don't even know. Glenn <laughs> Rogers, better known as the cross country killer, was Nicole Brown Simpson's handyman. What do you mean? Okay. Anyways, who who's a light skinned guy? I'm just curious. Is this like John B's cousin? Like, who is this guy? How do you end up on the show? Like this guy? No, he's a comedian. The other guy, like, who, who is Brody? He was a fucking. Her handyman was a serious. That was his thing. He was from Ohio. He was her handyman. His name is Glenn Rogers, known as the cross country killer or the cast. And, and they England. never brought that shit up in the media. Oh boy, them. Well, they, they oh, painted her as a victim in the media. Like, they bro, you kidding me? Absolutely. The biggest victim on the planet Earth is the white liberal female. She's the, the biggest victim. She's also at the same time the most privileged person, the liberal white female. I mean, the liberal white female is so powerful that there's no one she can't take down with a trumped up false claim. Yes. It's getting ugly out here. And she wasn't known as the bust down. She was. She was a bust down for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's said like that. her father was on there crying and stuff. He never said I lost control of her. And never cause worth, if she was on, I mean, like we know why she was with OJ. OJ had paper at the time. You dig what I'm saying? No, I believe you, Craig. I believe you. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, OJ, OJ passed. That's a Shamar you know what I'm work. They, they made jokes about OJ, and I, I don't believe OJ was no saint at all. But <laughs> that, most that would be me. This ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's what they do for money. Then on top of that, she had a dog and Akita. Dogs are, uh, Akitas are very aggressive attack dogs. The dogs didn't bark. So that means the dogs were familiar with whoever committed the murder. If, yeah. People look at these wars and all this shit. You're not getting the information you need. Yeah, that's okay. You're not getting the information you need about no. And matter of fact, I'm actually about to release a video uh, shortly. Um, it's about an eight minute video. It'll be released on my backup channel, The Saint. And it'll be showing you, well, one, it'll explain the background on the Israel Iran conflict currently. And then secondly, it'll show you how the information is being suppressed by the Google Corporation, which also owns YouTube. So even when you type in a search term to research the fact that Israel actually started the conflict without uh, declaring open war, you won't be able to find any results for it. So I'm going to post that up shortly. And so what I'm telling you is that you are living in an era wherein you have absolutely no freedom of speech. And there's not even really an attempt to hide the fact that your access to information is being curtailed. A war that's going on. You know, they shut your page down if you talk about the the war with um, um, over there where um, mm -hmm. what is it? folks Israel. You don't want to say in the Middle East. <laughs> yeah, in the Middle the East. Middle East. Yeah, they shut your page down. Because the information on that shit over there is basically bogus as fuck. Right. We know what they did. They're the invaders. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? The invaders do what they do and they are consistent with doing what they do. But if you if you bring the facts out about... You know, we're really still in colonial times. This is something that I discuss at length during the Book of Dark Truth Summit. I was actually just going through the footage today. For those of you who attended, you'll have access to the footage as well as the slides. For those who did not attend, I will be allowing you to uh, purchase the Book of Dark Truth Summit, which I think you will benefit from greatly. I was watching a live stream uh, for a bit on uh, PragerU, and I saw the the founder of it, and I didn't know he was a, a such a biased individual because often we think people who are intelligent are more rational, but it's not always the case. Often we apply our rationality to the conclusion that we want, right? So we identify the conclusion based on our emotions and feelings, and then we use our intelligence to find the evidence to back our position. I've even seen Elon Musk busted by Don Lemon, and I don't like Don Lemon at all. 
like Brody be guzzling them Skittles and he's a complete hypocrite, right? Black power, black this, black that. And then you suck in a white man's. I mean, come on, man. You, you, you claim that you're married to another male who's a white man. Like, come on, bro. Stop it. What kind of metaverse are you living in? Shout out to Charlie supporting the work. May I also acknowledge Joseph sending intuition. Carrying on. Not the invaders. They shut down your page, man. They shut down everything. So we live in a world where information is not something you're going to get off of, especially CNN. You're going to get what they want you to have. You know what I'm saying? So Craig coming with all these facts about this, it doesn't shock me. No, no. And not only that, nowadays people with money, so you don't even have to be a particular type of person. You can just have a little bit of power. Right, yeah. You know that, what I'm saying? And people be paying people off, finding stuff out. Oh, uh, yeah, it's crazy. That shit fucked me up, Corey, when I started reading this. And I'm like, dog, this is very important information. This ain't like some shit you just leave out. Like, oh, we forgot to say this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, this, these are things where if you. Ladies. Because your daddy ain't there. I know he ain't there. Your mama ain't want your daddy <laughs> giving you this information. I know he ain't there. All right, let's hear it. Ladies. Go ahead. If you meet a man who doesn't have purpose, who doesn't have something that is priority over his love for you, mm, okay, that motherfucker is dangerous. You know, he's not only dangerous to women, he's dangerous to the entire society. He's dangerous to the natural order of things. In fact, that's why I say beat up simps, because it's them who have us in a situation where, number one, these slores are, you know, operating as renegades and actually getting paid. And, you know, I want these hoes broke, honestly. And then number two, you got these chicks feeling empowered. Everybody's a bad B. Like, Shorty, are you really a bad B if you paid for the whole damn, you paid from it? If, from goddamn hairline, I guess including the hair, from hair to toenails, you've paid for everything that you are. are is that a bad B or is that just a, an expensive bill? Uh, see, I'm not buying it. So really, the simps are the problem, the guys without purpose. And you can spot them all over the place. These are the guys who are in the IG comments talking about what's her at. Bro, you don't need her at. You can't holla. All you can do is say, what's your cash app or what's your PayPal? You don't need her app, my boy. You need to sit down somewhere, man. Pay, pay, take care of your kids. Pay your bills. These are the guys who play video games. These are the guys who are softies and losers and know that they can't really compete at a high level. So instead, they just want to rent the broad. You dig? I'm, I'm all about ownership. And that's what I teach you guys because entrepreneurship is critical. That man is dangerous. If you meet a man that's all about you over everything, that man is dangerous. Dangerous. See, when you meet a man, you need to have a man who is got something going on for himself, like a hobby or a trade. Yeah, bro, I'm I'm not gonna sign off on a, a hobby. Nah, when you're an adult male, you need to be getting paid. Your your purpose should probably be aligned with a check. Okay, that's what it is. Shout out to Ken supporting the work. Sends it in by a cash app. He writes, "Been a minute since I've supported. Hope all is prosperous with you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate that." He writes, "That hoodie with the silver piece is banging." Oh, yeah. Oh, indeed. And you can get that at mdblabel.com. Log in, boss up. You heard me. And as I remind you guys, I'm one of the few. Actually, I'm probably the only who does it for you, which is to say I designed this watch. But if you go to mdblabel.com, you can support someone just like yourself, uh, support Brandon and Preston who have put this on the market. And it's a fine piece. Or his, his vision of God. He might be a preacher. And he's got to be. He's got to have conviction. Shout out to my nigga for talking slow as hell. Goddamn, get this nigga an espresso shot. Shout out to Dave. He writes, that's a bionic woman. Fake self-hatred. Down bad for real on the inside. Who are we talking about? Are you talking about his co-host or are you just talking about these bad bees? Talk to me. In that. But if you meet a man whose only conviction is into you, that is dangerous. That is. It's scary. All you ladies with a puppet. Oh, I like that. You walking around in danger. Trust me. Because this world, if it's all about you, <laughs> look at you. Do you think somebody really need to make their world? Hey, hold on, relative. They said he does his home, his show in, in Pasadena. 
<laughs> Word? Oh, yeah, man. I got to pull up. Pull up about you. <laughs> I'm just saying. These guys, when you break up with them, they, they got no purpose. They got nothing. And they are ready <laughs> to burn the world down. <laughs> Be heartbroken so, out here. I'm just telling all these ladies to get me in on the end. <laughs> you know, one thing that he didn't address is that women breaking up is increasingly too common because, A, they date too much. Yes, they date too much. They're indiscriminate. They sleep around too much. And it turns out that, ironically, once they sleep around at a certain level, then they have trouble pair bonding. And so there'll always be a loose woman in them streets constantly rediscovering themselves, right? Although they never find themselves because they're lost. But what you need to understand is that they're consistently going to be breaking up with people. They're very flighty. You know, just imagine you live in the Instagram and the Tinder era wherein she could replace you just that easy. And here's the comedy is that she might see a guy who looks wildly appealing only to find out that he appeared to be better than you, but he was just fronting. Now she gets what she deserved in as much as she's fake, he's fake. But this is the era that we're in. So to find a woman who's truly trill, a woman who's down, it actually does take you to put in a little bit of work. A lot of guys are often like, hey, Quet, she shut me down. She curbed me. I'm like, okay, good, man. Shoot that shot again. See, because if you really play her, when you get curved or when you take a L in general in life, you do it with grace. You don't look bad. You heard me? You know, you told her to shoot you the number. She said, no, thank you. You said, okay, well, great. Have a fantastic day. You see her the next day. Man, shoot the shot again. Okay, you see her on the third day. Don't shoot the shot. Hold it back. You know, let her watch a little bit of Marquette TV. You might give her your IG, you know, whatever the case is. And then eventually maybe she get rid of that problem that she had. Maybe she had a man. You know, maybe she has some emotional issues at the time and then she's going to come right back. You, you know what I'm saying? It's like people act like failure is finite or and I don't even really call it failure. If you shoot your shot at the girl, you're not failing if she doesn't give you the contact info or if she doesn't follow up. That's not failure. The truth is, if I meet a chick and she's not interested in me, I'm really questioning her intelligence. I'm questioning her ambition. You hear me? I'm questioning her common sense. I'm questioning her parents because who wouldn't like a man like me? Good looking, tall, clever, articulate, educated, experienced, well traveled, sophisticated. Who doesn't like that? So I got a question, Shorty. You dig? Now, if you guys believed in yourself and had better self esteem, you would never be, you know, bothered by, you know, getting shut down by abroad. And especially if you didn't grow up in the ghetto, hood cats, man, they shooting shots left and right. And, you know, that just rolled off their shoulder, man. They ain't tripping. Uh, moving on, yes, please. Oh my God, Craig. Anyway, yeah, he he did say he had a headache earlier too. I did. He's sick. He's got a headache. Oh my God, let's get out of here. I don't know what the, the heebie-jeebies right here. So, um, in WNBA and NCAA news, congratulations to Brittany Griner and her wife. Oh, stop it! Please don't read that like that. Brittany Griner and her wife. Can we please stop it? See, that's the problem. Is that people with common sense and people who supposedly have good mental health, you're playing into the delusions of those who are Looney Tunes, right? You see, if I encounter a person who's like, ee, ee, and slobbering on themselves, I'm not going to start mimicking them and ee, ee, like, I'm not going to start mimicking them and partaking in their behaviors and mindset. No, I'm going to look at them like, bro, a little bit off. I'm not going to make fun of them. I'm not going to try to hurt them, but I ain't going to be kicking it with them. You heard me? Like, I ain't going to be like inviting Brody to come over to watch the game. Like, Brody showed up. Like, he knocked his stuff over. <clears throat> like, I'm like, bro, shut up. They about to kick off. Shut up. <clears throat> like, no, like, that's out. So we need to exercise some principles. And there is no her wife. That's not a thing. And it's not a wife. No. The government might call it that, but our government is filthy. I remember when I was a youngster, the government had a program called DARE, which is saying don't use drugs like marijuana. They called it a gateway drug and provided all this government data. Then all of the sudden they started taxing marijuana and then marijuana is not a gateway drug and it's the wonder drug and it makes you feel better if you have cancer and various other things. Oh, that's strange how that narrative changed so radically. I don't trust anything. Sure, well, they are expecting 
they announced on IG this past Saturday that they are expecting their first child. I don't understand that. Did she bought some balls? How did, what you mean? She said, or they said, I can't believe that we're less than three months away from meeting our favorite human being. Wow. Now, Brittany is also very excited because Who she Who is will... that? Where? Brittany Grant. <laughs> Profile. Shout out to Anthony. Supporting the work by Cash App. Appreciate you. Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner. That's the uh, that's the bitch that looked like uh, Kareem Abdul Jabbar in ninth grade. I sent you a picture, Niall. Anyway, Brittany Wait, is Brittany I'm is accurate. also I'm very accurate. excited that she'll be playing in the 2024 Paris Olympics, which start in July. That will also mark in what else we're talking about. You know, Corey kills him and he says he doesn't know how. Yeah. I don't yeah. understand it. It's yeah. all a fairy tale. Okay, well, that's their fairy tale, but they're 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 a, a couple and they exist. They're human. No, see that see right there that now listen, I'm not saying you need to slap this woman while she's talking. But you need to cut her mic off when she started defending this stuff cuz this stuff is not defensible. Huh? That's the problem. You have the psychopaths who engage in these behaviors. I mean, you can't speak sense into them. Then you have the persons in the middle. Some can be persuaded and others just need to you just need to cut their mic off. She over here validating it. Well, they're human beings. Yeah, well, so was Ted Bundy was also a human being. Uh, R. Kelly's a human being. Um, but it turns out that sometimes human beings do things that are monstrous and demonic, at which point we don't any longer respect their humanity. And I'm just like, congratulations. Ah, uh, F all that. Daddy, I wanna... Oh, stop it. Now, the only thing I'm wondering, though, is in, listen, I do have a, I, I think I'm gonna make a track about this. I'm, I'm gonna get working on this this next album pretty soon. But I do want to smash me one of these like WNBA type broads. You feel me? I want to smash one of them um, for various reasons. Chief among which is like, is she going to willingly moan or is she going to like try to like act hard and act tough? You feel me? Like, I just want to know. Also, when they're in the bedroom, do they like switch off? Like they, they be like, look, I'm going to take it off here. You put it on. Do me now. Like, do they be switching off or? Or do they each have their own joint? You feel me? I'm just curious. Right. The donor, I know he like, nah, that's sexy. There's a man, <laughs> there's 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 a um male and female couples that get to just say the other word. She really that's they, what we want to know. They'll probably speak on it. They probably yeah, and that's she got that's the, the height the, and all gross. Oh, the wife's stomach. Gross. She fake smiling. She know that it's like the, the world wants you to just accept oh, and be man. happy for two women pretending like they had a baby together. Here's what women are hypocrites. Where's the dude? That's what I'm saying. Or where's the donor? If that was a nigga and it wasn't his baby on the way, they wouldn't be saying that. <laughs> what you mean? That's the hypocrisy. Hey, actually, this guy is he really saying something. I don't know what the gentleman's name is, but that's a very good point. If that was a grown man standing there next to that broad and she was pregnant with another man's child, we'd all be like, uh, Brody took a L, <laughs> big L. Yeah. So that is funny how there's like no standards for women. Hmm. Curious. Accuracy of male and female interaction. Since it's a woman, it's okay that she's pregnant by somebody else. But if that was a nigga, uh, you know what I mean? It'd be a problem. This is a crazy, crazy a world we live in, man. Yeah. Darlene just said, congratulations, Corey, and expect respect to come from. We can only speculate. Nah, stop. They should be where's the dude that they can <laughs> thank for donating the sperm or whatever? He man. got paid. Uh, who knows? I hope he donated it directly. I don't want no turkey basters involved. I if she's like, hey, hey, John, I know you're my personal trainer and you know I'm a lesbian and I know you're not a lesbian, but I want to have kids. Can you donate some semen to me? I need some semen. I hope Brody was like, look, you're going to have to get this shit. Though. I'm willing to give it to you, but you're going to have to get this the old fashioned way. OK, I ain't jacking off in a cup. We're going to do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> this is great months ago when he gave his sample i don't know he but why did, sample he probably smashed why does lesbianism do it that way too have to exclude fathers that's what i'm saying that don't make no sense okay y'all chose to be together as women mm -hmm. we get it huh. but why does that exclude the baby knowing his father Brittany, bro you know that is kind of sad when you think about it like just imagine you come into this world and you're like who's my dad and your your mom's like now nah, you ain't got a dad you're like, yeah, yeah I, I know you got this uh, this non-basketball playing motherfucker right here, but but who's my father? 
And the the fake mom is like, nah, you got two moms. He's like, yeah, yeah, I got plenty moms, but but who's my dad? And they're like, nah, nigga, you ain't got a dad. And we'll never tell you who it is. Like that's that's actually really cruel when you think about it. That's really like child abuse and it's psychological trauma because we all want to know about that from which we came. When I was in the nonprofit industry supporting black families in Baltimore, I remember there was a scholar who came in to speak. He was from uh, the Montana Academy. He was a neuroscientist uh, from Yale. And he was explaining that there are three things that cause human beings to break, particularly children to break. One of them was sexual abuse, if someone su su uh, suffered sexual abuse. The other one was uh, abandonment of a parent. Now, what greater abandonment could there be? You just never knew your father. You don't know what he looks like. None of that. That's a terrible thing. I, I really don't think that's right. And that's the problem. You leave the society to women and they have no sense of limitation. They will do anything that's unnatural and immoral. I mean, they don't even try to make you think the fake things are real anymore. You, If you ever see an Asian woman who has body, it's fake. They're not supposed to have body. That's not their gen genetics. You see a white girl that has a, an upper lip, it's fake. You're not supposed to have an upper lip. Let's all be who we are. Shout to Quat supporting the work, rights, peace of the saints. Carrying on. Is not a man because she could dunk and she's tall. She's still a bitch. So the. F <laughs> I'm going to rewind it because I like how we said that. <laughs> and he ain't lying either. You heard me? Yeah, she might be six foot 80. And, and I saw her dunk. I don't even count that as a dunk. I don't even count that as a dunk, especially when you're that damn tall anyways. But listen, as soon as she want to start talking all that talk, I'm whipping meat out. Like, look, you ain't got one of these. And matter of fact, keep talking. I'll show you how it work. You dig? They're like, what? You a smash Britney Grinner? Britney Griner? I smash all the Britneys. All of them. Carrying on. Does that exclude oh, the baby knowing his father? Britney is not a man because she could dunk and she's tall. She's still a bitch. Damn. So the father should be included. No, you I'm not playing them. It's just that what else can I do? I'm not going to look. I'm not going to change anything. Even if I knew exactly how she got impregnated or pregnant. And because right. okay, yeah. you know, when I'm the so Ryan's my energy the to work. try and even understand any of that stuff. But OK, I just two I people, just, two women. Some just, stories. Mm -hmm. I'm old school. Some stories are still stupid to me. Sure. You can't tell me about, hey, these two women are having a baby. Congratulations. <laughs> well, where's the story? Where's the backstory on that? This, is this bitch backstory. was in jail. Oh. Because she was. Had now, that's another thing. This is how you know that there are certain types. I don't want to say which types. You guys know the sexual deviants, right? When you have sexual perverts in the society, they really destroy the foundations of the society. And what I mean is this. Like, for example, you can't have your, your son on a, a football team or you can't have a, you know, a volleyball coach for your, your daughters anymore. Go in the locker room because now she's a homosexual and she's looking at your kids and you, you don't feel comfortable anymore. They, they destroy the, the innocence and foundations of the society. Uh, furthermore, the reason we have gender separated bathrooms is because theoretically you don't like people of the same gender. Now that everybody's sleeping around indiscriminately, it doesn't matter. And soon bestiality is on the way. Look at how these, these filthy people behave with canines. It's actually quite vile. Moreover, part of the punishment of going to jail is there ain't no hoes in there. I remember when I was in, I was like, God, man, I'm, I'm Nemo. AKA Nemo hoes. There's no hoes in here. Get me out of here. It's a bunch of niggas and they stink. They stink. And why that ball keep talking to itself? And this man taking a shit. Hold it in till they get us out of here. Hold it in. So part of the problem of going to jail or prison is like there's no hoes. There's no vagina. You know, that's the punishment. Now, I'm just trying to flip it, right? So say, say I went to jail and like they, they, this is what homosexuals experience when they go to jail. So say I went to jail and it was just all women and me, right? Nick, Nick, I'd be looking around and that motherfucker getting comfortable. Like, look, I'm going to be here a while. Shit, let me, I'm going to make some friends. Oh, are they in this free room and board? The rent's covered? Oh, bro, health insurance and everything, bro. This is a good job. This seemed like a good job. And I got hella spare time. Ooh, and this hoes all over the place. Oh, I'm about to get my dick wet 24-7. 24-7 like Dre, Snoop, and Devin. 
So the fact of the matter is that's not punishment. If you're a homosexual going into jail, you're being locked up with exclusively the people you're interested in. That's an upgrade, actually. <laughs> you hear I me? Mean? That's an upgrade. That's not a punishment. Come on now. And the society is so upside down right now. Shout out to Anthony. He writes, if I train in the gym, do I go daily or take a rest day? You don't take a rest day. You take an, uh, take it easy on a day. You might take it light on a day. Furthermore, when you're talking about the gym, uh, the question is, are you talking about cardio or are you talking about weights? If you're talking about weights, you should be working different muscle groups. And as a result of working different muscle groups, then you'll have time to recuperate in between. She was in the airport in Russia. Yeah. The Black Lives Matter shirt on. Yeah. Knowing them people don't play that shit out there. Right. Vaping. That's crazy. Yeah. Everywhere you go in Russia, oh, they That's follow nice. you. Yeah. Yeah. And now you want me to thank you or congratulate you for this mystery baby up in the bitch who look like she's still getting dick up in her. It's not fair to the baby that you deprive it of a father. Yeah, that's cold blooded. You know, the funny thing is what people don't realize, and no one said it, and I guess we have to acknowledge Marquette Devon Burton for coining this, is lesbians are single mothers. <laughs> yeah, it might be two of them, but it's still just a mother. There's no father. So a lesbian couple is still a single mother family structure, which I guess isn't a family at all, right? It's a, a broken arrangement. So there's still a single mother. It's really quite a pity. And the only thing that could be worse, the only thing that can make a bad situation worse would be if they had a boy. Oh, that would be terrible. A woman. Uh, be so you're saying I can't have a daddy. Hey, how's it going? Great. Uh, Marquette Burton, that's my groceries. Yeah, great. Can you just put it in there? Thank you. Yes. Yes. Because you like to get your pussy ate. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> I can't know I, my daddy because y'all like, like interesting, to, but I don't know. I can't. But pussy. I'm about to be brought up. And what I want you guys to notice about the female host is that she's not judging. She's not judging. They're never judging. And you know what? That's one of the beautiful things about the female is that they want to be inclusive. They want to love on everybody. They want to be positive. It's a phenomenal trait but similarly it prevents them from being principled from being uh, the ones who levy consequences from being reasonable and objective and that's a man's position frankly like i'm let's stop while i'm ahead about two bitches <laughs> <It's just interesting. laughs> why does lesbianism have to exclude fatherhood it doesn't make it it doesn't bro come on man you know the answer to that quit bullshitting with me to make any sense you you absolutely right Greg. the baby this should be able crazy to man it's like hold on one second let me see what bro doing in the kitchen Last time my delivery person was like uh, two thick ass Latinas. Like I, I, I want that again. I don't like what they sent me this time. Don't tell me sucker shit. I can't, <laughs> I can't not react to sucker shit. This lady <laughs> has got to be the biggest nightmare of basketball. The story yeah. of Brittany Griner. Yeah, it's got to be the big. Whoa! Why was bro making that face of Hold basketball? This story of Brittany Griner. Wait, why is bro making that face? That's so weird. Also, you know, I guess I just have to adjust to the times. <laughs> no comments. I got to adjust to the times. This is a weird face. I hope when I'm smashing, Brittany makes this face because that's that face of like, you put it in too deep, take a little bit out. You hear me? That's when you hit that back wall on the bed. That's when you hit that motherfucking back wall. She make that face, you hear me? Or yo ass that got too creative and she was like, not in that hole. That's not the one. You're like, bitch, it is now. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. She just got that fake ass deep voice. I don't know how she did that. I don't know what kind of pills the bitch on to make that fake ass deep voice she be making. I just hope she'll be using that voice when I'm stroking her out on me. Yeah.
It's got to be the biggest nightmare of basketball. Oh, we ain't even talking about all the other stuff that happened. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's real shit. Uh, they should be picking terrible pictures. Shout out to T, supporting work. I appreciate you. May I also acknowledge Walter comes in by PayPal. He writes, for OJ, too many cops planting evidence. Yeah, it was, a, it was a dirty game, but that's not new for police, especially not LAPD. He writes, he would have completed two Colombian neckties, clean up, get rid of a weapon, Meet the limo driver for his flight all in 25 minutes with no defensive wounds. That is extraordinary. Even for the juice, that's fast. You heard me? The juice is fast, but even for the juice, that's fast. Hey, child support on some baby. Oh, yeah. yeah, remember she was whooping her other she was whooping her other bra. She was with a woman before and was beating the dog shit out the bitch. I'm not. And left what? her. I remember that. We covered she, that too. Remember, what? Brittany Griner is a deadbeat mom dad. She had another bitch had a baby for her a couple years ago, and she left the bitch. Remember? Yo, what I need to know is when he, see when these deviants get involved, it's like so many things are are not clear. You feel me? It's like, damn. If you if you're a fake dad and you leave, do you have to pay child support like a real dad? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I guess we'll never know. Look it up. She's a deadbeat mom dad. She had another woman have a baby for and she left that woman. This is fact. That's what's up. If my son was marrying somebody else that was a dude, I, I wouldn't be at the wedding. I'm Bro, that wouldn't even be my son. I'm like, as soon as I heard about that, I'm like, look here, partner. Uh, we're gonna need to get this paperwork done. We're gonna need to X out that like your name. You're gonna have to change that. You don't have to change the whole shit. Uh oh, and by the way, uh, my address, also formerly known as like your family home, it ain't your, don't come back. Please, no, 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 don't don't mention me either. Don't mention me. No, 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 no. Uh, I'd even be thankful if you got some plastic surgery so you don't look like me. Cause this whole shit, like you and I, that don't exist no more. Okay. But I am gonna walk with you to this government office to change your name. But after that, when you see me, act like you don't even know me, ho. I'll be like, nigga, you lost your motherfucking mind. I need a DNA test. I don't know. I really need to know if you that would actually be genius. That'd be the time to get it too. But I'm getting mine at the beginning. I ain't gonna lie to you. You heard me? And I don't care how trill the girl is. As soon as the baby come out, I need the DNA test. Cause I don't trust shit. My son. Yeah. Holcombs, it don't be that it don't be no motherfucking niggas fucking niggas in the Holcomb clan. Bro, I can respect that. That's what I'm wondering. Cause I don't have not one of these deviants in my family. And I think that's why a lot of people they I don't want to say they they take mercy, but it's more so like they they try to rationalize it because someone close to them engages in this sick behavior. Whereas me, I'm like, look, if I had a a weirdo in my family, they're they're still a weirdo. I mean, that's just me though. You hear me? I, I like to just stick to the facts. Shout out to Johnny supporting the work. He writes, no dad involved in that situation. Anyway, okay. Now, my mama's side is weirdo. Oh, it's just weirdo. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> my mama's side of the family is some weirdo. Oh, Lord. I'm not joking. I wouldn't say that. My mom, yeah. oh. and I ain't never seen no backdoria dudes yeah. in the Hokum family. Yeah. On the Hokum side. No, I ain't. Southern gentlemen. My dear, me either. We got a, we got a, a stud or two. Damn. You got a stud on what side? Don't what is that? Like that don't count. I got a stud on my dad's side. Don't call them that either. See, I don't like when they start coming out with all these damn terms. That's the problem. Y'all using their words. Don't use their words. A stud. Bro, stop it. <laughs> That's just a bitch just like a nigga. That's all that is. That's not a stud. That's a, a, a female dressing up like a male. It's a cross dresser. That's all it is. Come on now. Don't start using their words. Other side. Oh, okay. They're legitimizing it when That's you use right. their words. That I know of. Yeah. That you know, Phil. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway. we, yeah, I ain't going to say what my All right. I'm um, moving on. Uh, now, although we left this out last week, can I say this? Congratulations are in order to the University of Southern Carolina for winning its third NCAA championship, as well as their coach, Don Staley. Is that how you pronounce it? Mm -hmm. Now, before the game, Don has stirred up a little bit. Not a little bit, quite some ruckus. Stupid shit. After she had she, to fuck after, us. She had to put herself in the fuck category with the job after, saying this stupid shit. I was she just saying? about to say. It. Okay. <laughs> anyway, ahead. Don was asked the question: Should transgender athletes be allowed to play with as um 
as the, what they call cisgender, which just means biological woman. Means regular, and her normal. Answer was, if you consider yourself a woman and you want to play sports, you should be able to play. That's the dumbest shit ever. Get my motherfucking jersey then. Get my jersey. A nigga thought his basketball career was over. Hell nah, his back bracken. Get me a jersey, goddammit. Lace up my J's. I'm ready to kill shit. You kidding me? This is ridiculous. Joanna man will go in there and body the whole damn league. Now, in my lifetime, I've I ball with a number of females. And out of my entire lifetime, there's only one chick that could actually ball. It's this little short, stocky black broad from the Boys and Girls Club when I was a young youngster. She was actually kind of thick, too. That was like the worst part. She was thick. Her booty would jiggle when she'd be crossing niggas over. But the point is, that's the only broad that could actually ball. But she was still too short to really do anything. But she has some skills on her. Other than that, man, these hoes came ball. She also she also told the person interviewing her. So now the barnstormer people, I don't know if you know what that is, mm. are gonna flood my timeline and be a distraction to me on one of the biggest days of our game. And I'm okay with that. She told the me. Then she barnstormer. said she caused a hella response, um, responses on that one. Um, and 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 just a really to give you a cap of somebody right after that immediately it hit the airway wait hold on okay all right i'm gonna enlarge this real quick because I, I just want to i just want to do a i would put up a poll but i already know the answer see this is why they're in the WNBA. what percentage of these women are attractive what percentage i'm gonna go with zero zero percent every chick in this photo is busted every last one of them now, let me explain why that's relevant. Well, it's relevant. I mean, just real quick, they didn't have a flash for real, for real. How you ain't have a flash and this is a professional like photographer, the broad in the far left, how's it look like she's a fucking shadow with a hat just fucking floating in midair? Kind of shit is that? All you see are teeth with a hat floating in midair. My nail, you going to need to use a flash. It's just disrespectful. Is that racist? To not use a flash and you got her looking like it's just a hat with hair connected to it and some motherfucking white ass teeth. That I think that might actually be racism. If you ever want to see white supremacy, <laughs> that is white supremacy racism. Holy moly guacamole. And then you got every last one of these broads look like they just got out of slavery and they were not working in the house. Every last one of them was working out in the field under brutal circumstances. And clearly they were getting beat on a regular basis by the master, except he refused to use a whip. He would just beat them up manually with punches to the face off some MMA shit. And that is why they all look like that. So here's my point, though. I always tell you guys, don't trust people who are broke and ugly. Now, what's the moral of the story, Marquette? Well, everyone wants significance. I wish everybody knew how to stay in a place and stay in a lane. That'd be a beautiful thing. That's what I teach. Hierarchy. You heard me get in where you fit in and, and be comfortable. But everyone wants to be respected and have significance. So as a result, um, the ugly hoes got to find a way to get attention to, right? So the ugly hoes is like, look, I'm big, I'm ugly, I look like a nigga. I might as well start playing basketball. I got to do something to get some attention. So there you go. A really, to give you a cap of somebody right after that, immediately it hit the airwaves. That former champion swimmer named Riley Gaines, she heard what she said and she said, Shout out to Jordan. He writes, Peace of the Saints, when starting a product, how do I know which product to make and one that will always be in high demand no matter what's going on economically? Well, you see, that doesn't happen. That's that's why you got to be able to move and shake. That's why you have to be a hustler. You see, with me, I never think that being successful is a fixed state. You have to re-earn it every day. Even Donald Trump went bankrupt. I've never done that, but it's a hell of a trick to go bankrupt and then, ah, become a billionaire again. The key is, are you a hustler? That's the only question. The question is not how much money do you have. The question is, can you get money? Can you create a new product? Can you innovate? When things fall apart, can you pull it back together? There is nothing that's 100%. That's why when people come to me all the time, hey, Mark, but I got 100,000. I got 13,000. I got 1.5 million. What should I do with it? Well, it depends on you. It depends on you. What are your skills? Do you have a money machine, which is to say a good product that we can scale up? 
There's so many different ways to make it and to stay on top and to grow your wealth, but there is no certainty that your money will always be there or be stable. No one has that kind of control. If someone says that they do, they're lying. If there is a God, God has that control. You and I are human beings. So the number one thing is to understand business and understand product development and product market fit. If you can do that, if you get a good product, it gets in the market and maybe macroeconomics cause issues, which I don't think is the case ever really, or something else causes your product to die, more likely competition or perhaps in some cases government regulation, and your product dies, you understand product development and product market fit, you can create another one. That is the name of the game. How many businesses have I created? I don't even know that many. Come on now. That's the key. Um, Who is she? You talk about the dude? No, 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 no. No, Riley, no, oh. no, no. This is a former champion swimmer, a woman. She's against transgender male athletes competing against women that were born, of course, a woman, female. Um, she, was her, she heard what Dawn said and she said, Get your merch. I'm Eddie Murchie out here. You dig? It's Eddie Murchie. Freshly Snipes. Kent Drippy Jr. If you get this hoodie from this link below, know that this one runs uh, small. So I am a true medium, but I'd all, I'd probably go large on this one. Shout out to manandwomanbrand.com. I, I don't think it could ever be uh, more critical to go to manandwomanbrand.com as we talk about this Brittany Griner uh, situation, these fake dads. Said... I wonder if she's okay with heavyweight fighters fighting featherweight people like she's being facetious, but she said, I wonder if she's okay with, you know, heavyweights fighting featherweights and or Olympians fight fighting para Olympians. You know what I'm saying? She's making a joke <laughs> about well, yeah, it. A woman is but she's like, what the hell? And then she said this particular woman who's against the trans people joining any of the sports. She said, <laughs> um, it just people. super sucks to see a well-established woman talking about, um, Dawn. Right. That has broken barriers for women in sports, turning into a sellout She's, in the name of inclusion. Hold on. Is, she, she hasn't broken any barriers. I've never heard of Shorty in my entire life. In fact, if you're like, Marquette, we're going to kill your mom. You have to name five WNBA teams. I'm like, Mama, I love you. Mama, I love you. Mama, just, I love you. I don't, I don't know. What the fuck? Uh, what, what WNBA teams are we like? The Liberty? Is that? I don't know. The Sparks? I think they're in LA. The Sparks? The Liberty? I'm done. That's that's all I got. More quick. Name three WNBA players. Brittany Griner, Lisa Leslie. I'm done. I'm done. That, that's all I got. So yeah, that's the point. Okay. She ain't broke no goddamn barriers. Trying to win a national championship. That's what she is. She she'll take any power forward that male gay power forward that got from a basketball team. <laughs> that's crazy. On I, I, her I ain't tripping on her. Like I know, like when she was at Baylor. She was sucking pussy with the little mother oh. girls on the quad or the, or the oh. and, and, yeah, and it got out there, so she stepped down and she rebuilt herself. Oh, is that a fact? Did he say that the coach was engaged, it was guzzling Skittles and ended up getting busted for it? No, that ain't right. Nope. I gotta rewind it. That. that sounded crazy. Taylor. She was sucking pussy with the little motherfucking girls on the squad or the, or the girl. And, yeah, and definitely. It got Did she say that she was engaging sexually with the the girls she was coaching? No, that ain't right. Out there, so she stepped down and she rebuilt herself up in South Carolina. But now, how's he know all this? God damn, maybe she did break barriers. Did his research team hand him a dossier, or this nigga just happened to know shit? Is this nigga wearing Google Glass and I can't see it? They got motherfucking contact lenses, just displays all the information. Who the fuck is informed about the WNBA? That was amazing. This man is a renaissance man, sophisticated gentleman. Now, you say some stupid shit about men playing against the women. Let me tell you something. Tell me something. Man. I hope men get to play against the women so women can find out they ain't shit in sports. Listen, matter of fact, let's not even do that. Let's just abolish the WNBA and let's just have the NBA. And whatever women are qualified to get in the NBA, just let them in. Let's just do that. How about that? I think that would just solve everything, really. That's a good point, Mark. Wait, damn, you're a genius. If we just have one league based on merit, because it's a professional league, right? So you got to be like a professional and expert in your endeavor. And then we just let in whoever cabal that will solve all the problems. That's genius. You important, you special. That was genius. I'm going back to college if they let this shit happen. <laughs>
if you let a man with some weave and makeup on <laughs> it comes to thing god made it's some niggas is just perverse they gonna join the team just to go in the locker room you heard me for real and i just be wondering now now walk with me here so you got the two females in the lesbian relationship one is trying to act like a a, a normal woman i think they call it the femme but she's really not because she's dealing with another woman. So we know she ain't right. But then you got the other one that's trying to pretend to be a dude, right? I think you call it a nigga bitch. And then, so that one is, I just want to know, do they shave the vagina or do they just leave it hairy? Like, look, I'm going to be wearing a strap on anyways. It's going to cover up all this shit. Like, I'm curious. Because, you know, me personally, I like some hair on mine. You think I like mine looking adult? <laughs> you feel me? I like my vaginas looking rather mature. So, you know, I might get along with some of these uh, individuals. Men stronger than women. It, they jump higher than women. They, you're a woman. Your purpose can be to play basketball. But not. how does she it. think that women can compete with men? But her job would be, wouldn't her job eventually, well... Pussy is a, uh, is a, is a natural steroid. It would no longer be women's basketball. Everybody. That's crazy. That's crazy. That has. Did this man say vagina is a natural steroid? Nah, my boy. Vagina is the opposite of a steroid, nigga. I be feeling completely energized. Let me get in some good cat. Niggas be like falling out and shit, man. Now I'd be completely incompetent for at least if I don't end up sleep, I'm completely incompetent, at least for that hour after that. You feel me? I don't really want nothing moving fast around me. I don't know what one of fast moving objects. I don't want nobody talking fast. I don't want much going around, man. I'm, I'm too I'm too weak and tired. I don't want some shit to pop off. God forbid you bust a nut and somebody fuck around and pull a fire alarm. You, nigga, you know what I'm saying? God forbid you bust a nut and the nigga run in to rob your house and shit. You just be like, nigga, take everything. You caught me at the right moment, nigga. Usually I shoot your ass, but go ahead. Take everything, nigga. I'm in a state of peace and relaxation right now. <laughs> had somebody enter them. Um, Everybody who has had a man enter them <laughs> is weaker than men. <laughs> oh, shit. While he's yeah, speaking to sure. that, I wonder if any of them, like, gave it a try. Like, if Brittany Griner... Um, gave it a try you feel me like if she was like took some pipe back in the day what y'all think i ain't gonna put up a, a poll but just like do you think britney griner ever took some real human d in life let me know what you think <laughs> i'm talking about even me yeah no i, I would agree with that 100 percent that's Especially wild. if you have a vagina, you're not going to be compete be able to compete against men with weaves. You're not going to be able to compete. They're going to win. The WNBA, you you talk about you want to try to bring up the ratings in the WNBA. Put put them boys out there. <laughs> it'll be a good league then because it'll be dunking, it'll be athleticism, it'll be all kind of stuff. Won't be that many girls playing. Nigga said there will be athleticism. <laughs> <laughs> he said it like there's like zero athleticism. Holy shit. That's dirty, my boy. That's dirty. Shout out to Arturo, who just became a member at thesassin.com. T-H-E-S-A-S-N.com. And I also acknowledge Robert, who sent in support via Cash App. Much appreciated. Shout out to the real one supporting the work. No mo. No. Mm -mm. Look, girl, they just drafted first. That bitch can't compete against no motherfucking men. Are you out of your fucking mind? That shit with Ice Cube ass. That bitch. Uh, shout out to the big or the big podcast writes the cat is known to some as a short-term physical depressant bro i'm telling you man sit you right down honestly to me it's like uh it's like a uh, melatonin you feel me it's like melatonin and that's why i don't just be jumping in it just all like thoughtlessly i'd be strategic about it you dig you know, it, it can get me to sleep. And in some cases it could wake me up. It depends, but I never like to deal with it midday. Now I'm not one of those people. Like maybe in my younger days, you know, when you're 16, you could just do that. Now, granted, when you're 16, you ain't really giving out good D, right? You giving out that 30 second, first round, that 120 second, second round. You might really go in that third round. You got rounds when you're a young ball. But uh, anyway, shout out to Julia supporting the work via cash. I appreciate you. It's gone too far. What people are talking about men and women 
playing in a professional sport league together. That's why. The reason they have women's sport league is for you could feel sorry for them. <laughs> yeah. oh. That's why they made no money. None at all. Shout out to the Bullers. Buller alert. Joshua writes, I ended up in a suite alone. <laughs> oh, God. All right, it's caught me off guard. It caught me off guard. Here we go. Ah, uh, I ended up in a suite alone with my lesbian cousin's very beautiful wife. And she wanted the Nick. <laughs> Boy, I would have whipped my shit out so quick. Bruh, it, <laughs> listen, I would have been whipping my meat out and had it on them buns like I was making a sandwich, goddammit. it. He writes, I didn't give it to her. Sir, you could have been doing God's work. You literally could have been bringing her back. I shouldn't say literally, but you could have been bringing her back to Jesus. Honestly, as the Lord would have it, he'd probably her rather do what you could have done to that girl. That was not the saintly thing to do. I am shocked that she wanted the pipe, though. Like, there's, I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Um, he writes, but my theory is that there is no such thing as a feminine and attractive lesbian. That makes sense. I, I tend to agree. He writes, just hurt women who chose the wrong man. Peace to the saints. Peace to the saints indeed. And I can't lie to you. I consider myself a very loyal man and family is hugely important to me. But my lesbian cousin's wife wanted the pipe. I would have had to smash her. And then Dasher, Prancer, Vixen. And the reason is because I don't consider that a marriage. So I'm not doing anything grimy. That's not a marriage in my book. So I would have had to smash. And low key, it is also possible that, no, actually, I don't know. I was going to say that the vagina may have been untouched because she ain't been getting smashed. But then again, she's been getting smashed by like a strap on. And those things are gargantuan. Honestly, they are. You ever been into any of these sex stores? Like those things are not made to scale, man. Those things are inhumane, honestly. <laughs> it's just uh, terribly inhumane. Yeah. It ain't made no money. So now you got a Caucasian woman who can play good. Let's see. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Gardner Rice, Peace of the Saints tuition. Anytime I see a, a, a female athlete that can really play whatever the sport is, I want them tested to see if it's actually a female because I, I fundamentally don't believe it. See if it turns the tide. Let's see if it'll make some money now. No, oh, it won't. That's wild. Because you're going to need something called competition. And also, you're going to need some dunks. You, you can't go and watch the game just for one player because you might say, well, Mark, what about Jordan? Yeah, well, the thing was Jordan actually had competition. So the things that he had to do to score, that's what made the game amazing. When you saw the man hop up and glide through the air and he take the ball from the left hand to the right hand midair or vice versa because the defenders were really on him, you know, it's not going to be a fun game to watch when you have one woman who can ball and then you got the other nine chicks on there are like, you know, diversity and equity cases. <laughs> so, eh. Speaking of money, it's a good segue. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Go ahead. Do your thing. I just think that old girl, that's true. No, that's I had, crazy. I, I was, I was rooting for her until she said that stupid shit. It's like, bitch, sit your stupid ass down. Yeah. Little boy looking bitch. She looked like a barber. Oh, like a barber. Yeah. The bitch who, <laughs> Dawn stay that bitch like a barber. <laughs> she like a barber. There she is. Thing yet. I got her. two more, but just sit down. <laughs> you know what? I cannot. <laughs> that bitch look like a barber, dog. I cannot. I got two. When more. she cried, she was ugly as fuck. It's not on. Would you check if everything is dry? And if it is not dry, then fire back up. She went from a regular looking person to. Did you see her crying? Cry face. No, <laughs> right, show the cry face. God damn. Show the engineer to show the cry face. Her, her cry ugly as fuck. Most some people. Are. No, some people cute when they cry. No, no, oh, that is not I true. Had a girl, she was real cute when she that cried. That's true. always hard on her. <laughs> That's mean. That's a man and put yourself in a position where I have to recalibrate your thinking because now you you ain't gonna like your girl no more. Once a woman gets checked by a man the right way, if she's a homosexual woman, that home that gay shit ain't gonna be cool to her no more. 
Do you yeah. feel what I'm saying? Most women are only gay because they've never been around a strong nigga. I, I can't say. No. <laughs> the dicks are crazy. Um, give me a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that shit is crazy. I didn't even see Brody right there. Curious grown man. You, you think you think he felt more comfortable because you were in here or he's just like a curious fellow? <laughs> you look nice. Oh man. Carrying on. I can agree with that, Craig. I think there are women who are just born that way. Yeah. Oh, here we now we get into the real conversation right here. Now we talking, okay? Now we're talking. Shout out to live from the live from the 706 Darius. I appreciate you supporting the work. Now we're getting to a meaningful conversation. And I think these are two fascinating opinions. And it might seem like a dichotomy, but the truth of the matter is that there's actually a middle road between these two. It's a woman gets checked by a man the right way if she's a homosexual woman. That hom that gay shit ain't going to be cool to her no more. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Most women are only gay because they've never been around a strong nigga. I, I can't agree with that, Craig. Yeah, I'm going to go with the trauma piece. I, I don't think what he said is accurate. I think they've received some trauma. They were abused in childhood or they had terrible single mother. I, I don't think I don't think that's the case. They haven't been around a strong N word, as my boy says. I think there are women who are just born that way. Yeah. And they're incorrect. There is no gay gene. And I promise you, the second that they find that motherfucker, they won't. But if they were to find it, God damn it, it'd be everywhere. But there is no actual gay gene, it turns out. And they're checking. They're searching. But they won't find it. And for the same reason that you don't see gay pit bulls, right? You ever seen like a gay pit bull walk by? You've never seen that. You ever seen a gay cat? No, you've never seen that either. Okay. The funny thing is uh, some of these psychopaths, they'll go to the ends of the earth. They'll be like, you know what? Dolphins are gay. I'm like, nah, no, nah, that's not true. This is what I will arm you with next time they say that they'll, the dolphins are gay. And also they'll like name some random ass animal yo ass never heard of. Uh, when they do that, say, okay, if there is in fact a homosexual mammal, uh, please explain to me when the two males copulate, like what is the evidence that they've engaged in a sexual act? You know, with humans, it would be like semen, for example. When you ask them simple questions, their logic breaks down because it's not logic. For example, they say, well, penguins are gay. Like what? What are you talking about? Penguins are nice animals, cute little animals. They're not gay. And when they explain their logic, they say, oh, well, the, the males will take care of the, the, the young together. Oh, that, that makes them gay. And when they do the research, it turns out that this only occurs in the absence of the female. But being gay involves sex, not taking care of the young together. And so these are the kind of fake arguments that they try to string together. They're committed to it. Mm -hmm. Committed to it. For she, sure. She's gonna regret she said that. But I'm saying like, a woman is supposed to be the resource of a man. Most and definitely. that sounds crazy, to people in America now. Right. But you're supposed to be his resource. You're supposed to be his, you know, motherfucker, I got this. Yeah. And that's what he's supposed to be able to hold up, what? his woman. Like, man, do you, my woman got my back. Yeah. But most of us don't get a woman who got our back. Most of us get a woman who talk crazy to you and <laughs> over talk you. And then uh, when you slow it down, uh, you can see the contempt. 
Both will talk about it. In her yeah. eyes. Be mad as hell. Like most women, when I have to, hey, hey, hold on now. You get the head of yourself. Yeah. I see it. It's, it's the anger. They be wishing they could beat your ass. It's crazy. The look they give me. When they resent your It strength. is unforgiving. Yeah. That's real. I was writing the other day. It was writing. With a, a woman. A scholar. This, she was supposed to do t- dictation. But she started telling me what to type. Oh, and I was like, hey. Just do the dictation. And I saw her after that. She, uh, it was a piercing look in her eye. Yeah. And I know that can never be fixed. So now she's I can't fuck with her like that no more. Yeah. Can't fuck with her like that no more. I got to pay somebody who does dictation uh, instead of using somebody. Yeah, they hate taking directions. Anyways, ladies and saints, I'm going to go ahead and give you some time to send in your comments, questions, any timestamps or URLs you want to send in right now as we wind down. Who types? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's real shit. Yeah, yeah. When they... When they're bold enough to give you that piercing look, when a woman is bold enough to look at you like this, how can you fix that? Oof. Right. You can't. That's that. That's book volumes yeah, that's right there. Way. Who, who's the that. woman here? She's useless. You want to know who the lady is? She's fucking and dropping off. <laughs> Catch you later. Nah, I ain't even dropping them off. You heard me? They gonna have to walk. Hey, um, does anyone know who the chick is in the middle? I'm just, I'm just curious. Later. She gonna make you prove. Your, her, your worthiness. Yeah. And if once you get into that area of having to prove to her that she needs to be following behind you, that's that's a different game we plan. When you when you got to say that again? When you, are these two related? This, this gentleman and this lady, are these ones related? Curious. You get when you're dealing with a woman on that level, just just working, and now you gotta now now she feels challenged. Where you gotta prove to her that you're worthy of following, that's a different game. That's a whole different I ain't gonna never prove I'm worthy of following. Yeah. I'm going to fuck you and evaluate you as we fucking. <laughs> right. Not during, bro. Not during. You need to enjoy that. You know, evaluate before. Anyways, ladies and saints, it's been a pleasure to have this time to fellowship with you all. Until next time.